Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have live swatches of Sally Hansen Canada's collaboration with Sour Patch Kids. There are eight limited edition polishes and they are currently available and retail for $6.49. But let's go ahead and get on into the swatches. Up first is Pump Kid, which is a true orange cream polish. This one was so pigmented, it was easy to apply. I almost had it completely opaque in one coat, but I did have to throw on a second coat for full opacity. So here are two coats of Pump Kid. Up next is another amazing cream polish. This one is called the Unred, and it is a cherry red cream polish. This one probably had the best formula out of all of the polishes in the collection. I did apply two coats for this swatch video, but I think I would consider this a one coater because in one coat it was pretty much completely opaque. The second coat didn't change a whole lot, so here are two coats of the Unred. The third and final of the cream shades is called Ghoul's Night Out, and this is a black cream polish. As you can see, the first coat was a little jelly-like, but with the second coat, I was able to build it up to full opacity and a juicy black finish. So here are two coats of Ghoul's Night Out. The next two polishes are so fun and perfect for the Sour Patch Kids collaboration. This one is Full Moon, and it's got a bunch of small white hex glitters all suspended in a light blue jelly base. I love this polish because it's so reminiscent of the Sour Patch Kids gummies with the white glitters mimicking the sugar coating. So here are three coats of Full Moon. Up next is a topper called First Sour Then Sweet and it's got those same small white hex glitters but this time it's suspended in a clear base. With this topper, you can pair it with any other polish to give it that kind of sugar coating. Here I'm swatching it over the black polish I swatched earlier as well as the red polish from this collection. The glitters were very well distributed throughout the entire polish and I mean, how fun is this topper? There's another glitter topper in this collection and it's called Hallow Queen. It's got an assortment of medium and large size hex glitters in light orange and black, as well as some really unique square shaped holographic glitters all suspended in a clear base. I swatched it in one coat over the orange polish Pump Kid and it doesn't dry super textured so a regular glossy top coat is gonna do just fine. And the last two shades are actually glow-in-the-dark shades, which are super fun. Up first is Creep It Real, which is a sheer, shimmery pink shade. Here I'm swatching it on its own in three coats. It is a fairly sheer polish, but I think with all that shimmer, I was able to basically blur out or hide my smile line pretty well with three coats. This one did glow in the dark, which I'll show in a sec, but the glow did fade a little bit. And last but not least is another glow-in-the-dark shade. This one is called Fabulous. This one I'm pretty sure is a pure glow-in-the-dark shade. I don't think it's got any other pigment besides the glow-in-the-dark pigment suspended in a clear base. I swatched it on its own in three coats, but I think you could do one or two if you layer it over a white base. And if you want a super glow-in-the-dark effect, you can charge up the pigment by shining a light on it. It does fade a little bit over time, but I think overall this one is brighter and lasts longer than the previous glow-in-the-dark shade. So here's one more look at the swatches of the eight polishes from the Sally Hansen and Sour Patch Kids collaboration. Let me know which shade is your favorite by leaving me a comment down below. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see some of my other Sally Hansen swatch videos, you can click the playlist on your screen or in the description below. And if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials. So consider subscribing if you enjoyed it and giving this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But anyways, that's all for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.